As the U.S. Coast Guard continues searching Lake Michigan, they want boaters to know that there are steps you can take when going to the water to keep yourself safe in an emergency. 13 on your side's Jeremiah Brown spoke with a member of the U.S. Coast Guard station in Grand Haven today about what can be done to prevent this from happening in the future. Jeremiah. Nate, the Coast Guard says a life jacket is missing from David Split's boat. That means his chances for, survi for survival are higher with a flotation device, but that's just one thing boaters can do to stay safe and be found. Probably the biggest uh, thing that anybody can do, um, if you're gonna be heading out, especially by yourself, have a float plan. Letting someone know where you'll be going, how long you plan to be away, and what you are taking with you can be a critical step in assisting in a search and rescue. If something does happen, if you fall overboard, uh, if you get lost, you know, if, if something like an emergency comes up while you're underway, you know, that's that's the easiest way to sort of at least have an idea of where to begin to look for somebody. The USCG says that having a life jacket increases chances of survival in the water substantially. But as boater Larry LeBriar shows, that is not the only piece of equipment boaters should have. Top end, from my perspective, for personal safety, is uh, I have an inflatable life jacket. If I go in the water, this P PFD inflates, personal flotation device, and also attached to it, I have a personal locator beacon which is registered with Coast Guard. And then you have sort of GPS devices that are more tailored towards that maritime search and rescue um, world. So uh, there's what we call them, we refer to them as personal locator beacons. Essentially, if, if a ship or a small boat is in distress, you can activate that and it's gonna allow the Coast Guard um, to have a really good idea of what your location is. The Coast Guard also encourages having an engine kill switch on board. The whole purpose of the kill switch is to make sure that if you leave the boat for either an emergency or accidentally, it's going to stop moving. The best safety plan. Have a communications plan with a loved one, dress for the weather, uh, have a backup means of communication, and wear a PFD, especially if you're by yourself. The U.S. Coast Guard says they are continuing to work with local law enforcement and their Canadian counterparts to investigate the boat to find out what could have happened on board and to, of course, find David Split. From the newsroom, I'm Jeremiah Brown, 13 on your side.